I keep getting asked recently if I'm still doing my capsule wardrobe and the short answer is yes, I am. However, there's a bit of a longer answer to that and I've written a blog post about it today so I'll link that down for you below if you're interested. But basically, I haven't really done an update for summer, I just haven't felt the need to, I kind of forgot if I'm honest. And I've just been using what I've already got and the weather here in the UK has been ridiculously hot to ridiculously cold and so I've sort of had things that would see me through. However, I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks time and my holiday wardrobe is basically non-existent. I have a pair of H&M denim shorts that I picked up a couple of years ago and then like a beach cover up that I got in accessorise in Gatwick Airport. <laughs> so there's really not that much going on. So I definitely knew that I needed to pick up a few bits and it's not necessarily for my summer capsule wardrobe but more for like a holiday capsule wardrobe. I really wanted to get a few bits together that I could just put under my bed and then whenever I go away to somewhere like hot and beachy I've just got a good couple of pieces that I know are solidly going to work. I mean if it ever gets hot enough to wear them here. I'll obviously wear them here in the UK as well but I just wanted to get a sort of solid little edit together of a holiday capsule wardrobe. Today is going to be an ASOS and Topshop haul. I picked up some bits, some bits are fab, some bits are really not so fab but I thought I would do a bit of a try on and show you what I'm keeping, what's going back and yeah just sort of showing you what I picked up for my holiday. I feel like I want to get started with my favourite thing which is what I'm wearing right now so I'll show you the bits from ASOS first. I've basically just realised that I'm like a play suit jumpsuit kind of person. I love them. Out of everything that I purchased, this is my favourite and even just from seeing it online, I knew that I would absolutely love it. It's got an elasticated waistband, always a fan of that and then it's just shorts on the bottom. It's almost got this like runner split up the side which I find really flattering. It's a lovely light material so even though it's long sleeved, it's going to be perfect to wear in like the evenings. It gives you a bit more cover up there. <laughs> but yeah, I love that it's striped. You guys know that I'm a big fan of stripes and yeah I just find that it fits really well I knew that I would love it definitely my favorite thing that I've picked up and it's probably the thing that I'm most likely to also wear in the UK as well I just think it would look great either with high heels or some espadrilles some flats it's, it's an all occasions one I picked up another play suit from ASOS but I have to say that my hopes weren't as high for this one I saw it I sort of looked at the material online and I was like mm, I'm not sure that's gonna feel like a bit cheap and nasty in real life but actually I'm pleasantly surprised I have a feeling this was only about 18 pounds and it's really nice it's actually really flattering it's just a jersey material again nice and light it's got shorts on the bottom elasticated waistband similar to this one but then it's got this pom-pom detail which I love that was why I went for it I was like even if the material is a bit dodgy I love the trim on it. I love a bit of pom-pom trim. I just think it's really summery. It's a bit boho, super cute. And I thought this would come in really handy for you knowing you're just like popping down the beach or popping to the pool and you need something to throw on. It's like a beach cover up really. And you know that it's gonna get kind of sweaty and gross. That's why I didn't pick it up in white. They do do a white one, but I was like, that is gonna get covered in sun cream after like day one. Now the final thing that I picked up from ASOS, it's going back. I've kind of had a realization that I'm just not a dress person. Dresses and skirts, we kind of just like don't really get on. Jumpsuits, shorts, play suits, yeah, I'm into them, but dresses, I'm not really sure. But I thought that I would try one and pick one up because I thought it'd be nice to like wear in the evenings if we were doing a little bit more of a dressier thing. So I picked up this. It is, I mean, it's very pretty. It's like a cream, really pretty, like cotton, light number. It looks like it's almost a top over a skirt because it's got this like drop crop top over the top. It's really pretty at the back as well. It's got these like little flappy bits. So I thought it was very pretty. And like, there's a lot of my friends, I think my sister would look amazing in this but it just isn't really for me and I really wanted to pick out bits that felt summery and me like my wardrobe is just not summery I'm much more of like a boots and chunky knit sweaters person but I really want to nail that summer holiday capsule wardrobe and I really want to love it all and this would be one of those things I could like wear and it's fine but I don't love it it just wasn't meant to be with this and also apologies for the creases I don't want to like iron it and get a massive hole in it and not be able to return it. <laughs> Onto a few bits that I picked up from Topshop and I always think that I'm a bit like over Topshop these days but I've been looking online and some of this summer stuff was so nice like nicer than Whistles, nicer than ASOS, nicer than COS. I was just really feeling it and I'm actually quite happy with most of the things that I bought. I think there's only like two things I'm going to return and one that's a bit of a maybe. I picked up quite a few tops and I love them and I actually picked this one up in two colours because I love it that much. I was looking for a camera because I just think camisoles are a very easy thing to wear on holiday. You can just throw them on, throw them on with shorts, so you can dress them up depending on what kind of shoes you've got on. You just end up getting a lot of wear out of them. And this was exactly what I was looking for. It's like a cheesecloth material. It's got a little rope on the top. It actually is like a rope strap. You have to, I think I should probably put a double knot in these. <laughs> Definitely don't want them falling down. It's got the tassels on the end. I love a good tassel. It's like Nicole Richie circa 
2005 probably. I'm still feeling that vibe. Um, it's probably a little bit shorter than what I would normally go for for a camisole, but I like everything so much that I'm willing to let that go. It's also got a nice bit of trim on the bottom. It's very detailed and I don't think this was that expensive. Maybe like 16, 18 pounds. So I'm really pleased that I picked it up in the blue as well. The blue is almost like a cornflower baby blue. Again, very pretty, really nice with denim shorts. I think I get a lot of wear out of these. Especially because with camisoles, they don't really like hug your armpits too much. So you don't really get too like hot and sweaty in these. Then I was browsing the new in section and I came across this top and I really wanted something that was a bit like embroidered, a little bit hippie, a little bit floaty, like something to wear in the evenings. And this basically fitted that bill perfectly. It's this white like floaty bib. Sort of, it's not a long sleeve, but it's not a short sleeve either. It sort of goes down to my elbow. And it's got this lovely black embroidery on it and also this black embroidery detail on the shoulder. It has got a double layer in it. So that doesn't mean that you could wear it without a bra, great. But it also means that it's probably gonna be a little bit too hot to wear during the day. So it's definitely something more for like evening time. But I just thought this was very pretty. Very happy with that and obviously this monochrome. I didn't mention this, but I kind of worked out a bit of a color palette. I've gone for things that are like white, cream, black, and basically blue. That is my color scheme for this mini little wardrobe haul. Cause I just thought that way everything will go together. Everything will work really well. And it's just the easiest way to like make sure that everything pairs together plus I do love a bit of blue and I do love this top you might have seen this in my last video it's one of those bardo tops and again it's in that cheese clothy like cotton material it's got the stripe going down it's got the crazy like bardo style I mean it's a bit of a boob shelf really I'm not sure on me it's the most flattering thing I've got quite a wide shoulder bit going on and it definitely enhances that and I did pick this up in a 12 I would normally go for a 10 but I don't like it to be too tight around the top you don't want it kind of like gripping in too much and it actually fits really well again it's a little bit more crop than what I go for that tends to be a bit of a theme with all the top shop stuff I've wanted one of these tops all summer like I've literally looked at them all summer I'm like they look so cool they look amazing on everyone but they're definitely not the most practical thing like even if you just raise your arms a bit it kind of pops up and you have to pull it back down again you're kind of constantly readjusting it so I wouldn't say it's the most practical and comfortable thing to wear but just for like an evening I think this would look really nice for like a dinner or something so I've kind of gone on and on about these denim shorts because that's basically all I have to wear on my bottom half and I wanted a pair of almost beach shorts you know when you see they're really like light I wanted them in maybe like a black or a white probably black because white could go a bit see-through and would get dirty quicker but I just wanted a pair of shorts that I could just throw on more for like the day just to be a bit baggy and just to be a really comfortable pair of shorts maybe I'd wear the denim shorts more in the evening and then just have this pair of shorts more for the day I saw these thought they were perfect they're like a black crochet overlay they've got the elasticated waistband nice and comfortable pick these up in a 10 and I have to say that maybe the 12 would have been a better choice they're a little bit tight on me but basically my butt just like eats these up for dinner like it just doesn't look good to me they're a bit too much of a booty short they're a bit too short and I just want something that's a bit more relaxed in fit so if you have any recommendations for that there were a few on ASOS but there were almost too many to pick from then I am all ears because they just didn't work out for me and then the other thing, I feel like this is a real Lily top. I feel like Lily would look amazing in this top. Again, it's a camisole. They do these in lots of different colours, but I picked it up in this pattern with the stripes on. I mean, can you tell? Like, I really do love stripes. It's got the horizontal stripes, it's got the vertical stripes, and then it's got these sort of straps at the back. And to me, this just didn't look right on. I'm not sure if it was the weird kind of contrasting pattern. Just didn't feel like it looked that great on me. Also a little bit tight. Again, I probably could have done with the 12 in this. It's got like a little boob shelf inside, like a white underlay. It's like a petticoat for your boobs, I guess, which means that you don't have to wear a bra, which is great. You know, you're not gonna get nipple through it, but it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't look right on me. And so I thought, you know what? It's going back. I mean, I could probably just size up and exchange it, but I do I need like more stripes in my wardrobe? Probably not. <laughs> now these, I'm in a bit of a pickle with these because I really, really like them. I wanted a pair of espadrilles because I've got flip flops, I've got Birkenstocks, but I haven't really got anything else. And sometimes you just want to wear a proper shoe, you want something that's got a bit more padding, a bit more of a sole to it, more comfortable to wear. And I've done a lot of searching online, but I'm kind of searching at the wrong time. It's almost like late summer now and all the espadrilles are kind of gone. 
Basically, I should have looked months ago. I found these on the Topshop website and I thought they were perfect. I think they're called the Kangaroo style. The reviews were good and said that they were comfortable. I sized up in them. I'm normally a size six, but I got a size seven. Number one, because it's all they had in stock. Number two, someone said that they size small, so I went up a size. And I have to say, they are so comfortable and they're basically perfect. They're everything I wanted. But online, they look more of like a beigey nude color. In real life, I don't think this is gonna pick up like on the camera. They're more of like a dusky pink like they are definitely pink and it just doesn't really go with everything else that I've picked up and I'm not sure I will get that much wear out of them because I'm just not really like a pink kind of gal however there were a pair on the ASOS website that I fell in love with I can't remember what the brand was called I hadn't heard of the brand before and then I googled them and I put it into Google and Amazon came up as the top result and they had them in my size in stock on Amazon they're actually due to be delivered today and they were basically the same as this they had a slightly different color on the toe like almost like a gold on the toe and then they had a nude backing which I think was again suede so if they arrive and they're exactly what I want and they fit and they're comfortable and they're just like this but basically more nude I will return these and keep those but if they're not right then I might keep these because they are really cool and maybe I could do with a bit of colour in my wardrobe I'll keep you updated right that's the end um, as I mentioned everything will be linked down below if there's anything that you guys want to check out but yeah there will definitely be a holiday capsule wardrobe packing extravaganza coming soon I've kind of become a bit obsessed with this 54321 method I write about it in the blog post that I mentioned earlier. It will be linked down below, but yeah, I'm really into that. I think that's gonna be my preferred method of packing for holidays this year. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye.